going on everyone welcome back to the channel it is the baddest man on the planet the human juggernaut himself damien mcleod now uh, you know recently recently you know a lot of people have been talking about cali muscle and his loss of gains a lot of people are putting out fluff a lot of people are putting out hate i'm gonna stop right now and say this it's not a hate video i'm in no way trying to bash cali muscle you know in my opinion i think it is a serious issue and i'll dig into that in a second but i just want to let you know everyone know this isn't a bash not a roast i'm not going to talk shit about the guy but i'm going to put my opinion out there and you know talk about some of the shit i've seen around the internet so one of the videos that stuck out was you know the uh the bullet maker here the the, the mercenary the <laughs> the uh the the cia mr train at the farm at langley jason blaha now of course, he's going to talk a bunch of shit. He calls him the booty warrior, this, that, and the third. I'm not even, it's not even that type of video. I'm not going to talk no shit about Cali Muscle. Now, I will say this. Cali Muscle um, allegedly says he does. He says he doesn't take steroids. People allegedly says he does. Now, I'll just say this. You know, being in the fitness game for this long, you know, common sense. You know, we're not stupid. Now, there's some people out there who are dumb, but we know the real deal going on in that situation. Now, I'm going to dig right in. That's for the muscle loss. It's either because, A, there are no more things. You know, I'm not going to say, I'm not even going to say, I'm going to say um, person A. Let's just say person A was really, really swole, abnormally swole, bigger than the average guy. This is person A, some hypothetical person. And, you know, for years, he's been this big, rough, buff motherfucker, right? Then all of a sudden, he starts to shrink up. He's getting older in age. People are wondering, you know, well, well, he's losing all of his size. Person A is losing all of his size. What's going on? It's obvious, people. In order to get, let's start from the root of this. In order to get that big, how do you get that big? All right, now you know the answer to that. So years later, you know, time catches up with you. Um, these compounds that get you to that size, they take its toll on your body. It destroys you, it degradates you down to your molecular structure. I don't care how bad you are, how tough you are, this shit will get you. You're gonna have your glory years, you're gonna have your, your, your shine, but eventually it breaks you down. And then all of a sudden that person starts to lose size. They're getting older, their body can't take it anymore. And hence, they can't take the drugs. They get small. They lose muscle. You know why? Because if you don't, if you don't stop taking the shit, the person A is going to die. All right? So either a doctor stepped in with person A and told person A, hey, you know, let's, let's be real here. I'm a doctor. And I, I can tell just by looking at you that this isn't a natural physique, person A. You're going to need to stop doing whatever you're doing or you're going to be in a box. Now recently we had a few bodybuilders die because of their use of steroids. You know what I'm saying? It tears your body down. A lot of these guys want to see it's not the steroids that kill you. It is the, it's the steroids that kill you. All right? It puts your body in a position that you're going to now get one of these diseases, one of these ailments, heart disease, um, organ failure. It destroys you. And the steroids are a direct cause of those illnesses. It puts you in a situation to now you're susceptible to these things. So the doctor says, you know what, you're gonna have to get this shit off. I mean, leave that shit alone or you're dead. Bottom line. And when you stop doing whatever you're doing, like if you're running and you stop running, you're no longer running anymore. You're walking. You're no longer moving at that running momentum. You're, you're, at, a, you're at a walking pace. You get what I'm saying? So if you get off this shit, you're no longer excelling with these muscle gains week after week after week. You stop, and then you slow down, and then you regress. So that's the basis of this whole situation here. Now, I don't know if Cali Muscle is taking anything. I'll say, you know, allegedly people saying he's doing I don't know. I've never seen him take anything. So I'm in no way saying that Cali Muscle took anything. I'm just saying people use their common sense. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a dog barks, a bird, a bird flies, <laughs> and a fish swims. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Sometimes the simplest answer is the right answer. It's common sense. So, you know, I just want to say, like, you know, now let's touch about the real side of this. You know, 
we've seen a lot of bodybuilders recently come out with their health. Health scares. You know what I'm saying? C.T. Fletcher's not in the best of health. Shout out to C.T. Fletcher. I hope he's getting better. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Cali Muscle. Whatever situation you're going through at the end of the day, you know, it's like I said, it's not a shit talking video saying, oh, he's a roid head or anything. Nah. At the end of the day, man, I don't want to see another, another man down and out, hurt in any shape, form, or fashion. All right? Whether if he's enhanced or not. A person is a person. I don't want to see anybody in a messed up situation. So I'll say that right now. So hopefully, you know, these guys, you know, do whatever it takes. Get yourself back to 100%. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, just be safe. That's what it's all about, man. Fitness is more than just, you know, drugs and Photoshop and all this other shit that we see going on. You know, we got there's so much stuff going on. Fitness is like for the average person. You know what I'm saying? Because listen, not everyone is an internet celebrity, so not everyone's out here doing all this extra felonious shit to be the top of social media. Most people just want to be healthy. They just want to lose that gut. They want to build up those arms, build up that chest. You know what I'm saying? Build up that strength. They might want to curl a lot. They might want to bench a lot. Some people want to squat, deadlift a lot. So, you know, it's a hobby. It's a way of life. It's something that, to, you know, you're going through stress to ease your mind. You know, just something to do. It's a lifestyle. It's a hobby. It's fun. It's supposed to bring you relief. And that's what it needs to get back to. You know what I'm saying? We got people dying left and right. We got people lying, you know, getting gyno. Some of the, the new younger fake natty crew guys are getting gyno. They're all taking these drugs, putting on this muscle, lying and deceiving people for money. Because all of this is you're getting your social media up, you're getting your ad revenue now you're in a position to sell your products, which, you know, pretty much do nothing for you. Except for pre-workout has caffeine as a stimulant. But all this shit on the market, it pretty much does nothing for you. No one has made a solid protein powder since, like, the beginning when protein powder tasted like mud and dog feet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, everything's fluff now. Whack ingredients. It's just shit. And it all boils down to, you know, what can I sell to the people? What kind of what kind of illusion can I put in front of the people so I can sell my shit and make money? What can I say to people to confuse them, to sway them over to this ideal so that I can make money? What type of program can I tell them to do that's better than this program? When really it's all about consistency and just hard work and grinding so I can make money, you know? Telling people, oh yeah, you want these sort of gains, or oh, you're not getting your gains, well guess what? You're not working hard enough, why don't you take this powder here and try out this workout program? Meanwhile, the person telling you that is taking stuff. You get what I'm saying? It's all a bunch of bullshit. But, you know, like I guess I want to, you know, like I said, shout out to the to the, the fallen guys, you know, in the, in the bodybuilding game. And the guys who aren't doing so well in health right now, I hope everyone gets it together, gets back on top 100%, and just be safe. And for all the new guys out there, you know who um, there's gonna be a lot of guys who don't really give a shit. They're gonna they're gonna take the shit. They want they have their ego. They're living in their ego and their lower self. They're gonna be what they are, and you know they're gonna be putting themselves in position because they can't let their ego go. And they want to be the biggest baddest guy when in reality you're just a guy who's slowly dying from the inside out. So for all the new guys out there who are you know young but wise and have that wisdom talking in the back of your head. Don't, don't leave the shit alone. Don't touch it. Leave it alone. Leave all the shit alone. You don't buy it. You don't need it. I've proved to you guys many times that, hey, you can build a physique without any drugs. It's easy. It just takes hard work. That's all it is. And hard work is easy if you're dedicated to do it. So that's all I want to say about this, guys. Like I said, no way, shape, form, or fashion is this a bash video on any of these guys. Um, but yeah, you know, just people be smart you know at the end of the day there's some of us out there in the fitness industry who actually really give a fuck and do not fake and fluff and lying to you about this that and the third we just want to see you progress as i progress so with all that said everyone don't forget to like comment and subscribe 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 i'm subliminally in your mind so until next time get to the gym do work and muscle up my adversaries cry like hoes, fully eradicate my foes. My lyrics explode on contact, came in you hoes. Who else but mama's only son? Put the phony niggas up the Say my name, watch bitches come.